Hi, welcome to Figma Friday number eight. If you've ever used the trace feature within Illustrator to create vector graphics out of raster images, then you're really going to love what I'm going to show you in this video tutorial. So to get started, um, you'll need to navigate over to the Figma community and find the image tracer plugin. Uh, I'll post a link to this in the video description. Um, what this plugin does is it takes uh, any raster image, preferably something that appears to be a, a flat silhouette or an illustration, and it converts the raster image into a vector graphic, which you can then export um, to use on print or uh, different types of media, and which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, it's created by Dave Williams, and I suggest that you check out his profile in the Figma community because he has a lot of really other handy plugins like the Simulator and Lorem Ipsum plugins that I use frequently. Uh, but go ahead and get the uh, Image Tracer plugin installed, and uh, now we need to find uh, an illustrator, illustration to bring into Figma. So I just searched Google for a thumbs up illustration. I really like this image here. I may want to uh, use it on a, a t-shirt or something, some other type of media. So I'll just copy the image from here and make sure that you are using images um, that you have rights to. That I'm just showing you this as an example. Uh, so I'm going to paste that raster graphic into Figma. And what I mean by raster graphic, so if I zoom in here, you can see all the pixels here. So this image is very low quality. And if you scale it up, uh, the graphic begins to distort because um, it is made up of pixels. With this image selected, I will launch my image tracer plugin. Here's that right there. Uh, so this plugin now scans the selected raster image and creates vector lines uh, where it thinks uh, they belong throughout the, uh, the graphic. Uh, what I can do is I can show these uh, additional options here um, and I can adjust the threshold, uh, which is uh, like the quality uh, of the, the vector output. So I can set the threshold to something like uh, 5, uh, which doesn't really do anything because it needs to be a little bit greater. OK, so now we're beginning to see some vectors in there. Uh, I'll change it to, uh, let's say, 150 so that we pick up more of the, OK, so now we're getting more of the vector lines and shapes in here. Uh, there's a, a, a few other uh, settings in here for smoothing the vector art uh, and adjusting the curvature and all that. Uh, you can fade the original image back and uh, get a better preview of the vector output. Um, so feel free to mess with all of that, but I will hit uh, place traced vector. And now what I can do is so this is my raster image. I can just delete that or set it aside. This is the vector output that we generated using the plugin. So now, as I'm zooming in here, you can see that uh, it's now no longer pixelated because it's not raster. Uh, and now the vector lines can be scaled to any size, and they will, they will always maintain that very high quality. So now, uh, once we've sized our vector, uh, illustration to whatever size we would like. Uh, with it selected, I will hit export. Uh, I will select SVG. I also have the option to export as a PDF. Uh, Figma shows me the vector preview of the illustration. I will hit export image, save it to my downloads. Uh, Image one trace, yeah, that's fine. Okay, and then if I navigate to my uh, downloads here, open that up. Okay, here's my uh, SVG illustration, all in vector, scalable to any size. Uh, let's try one more time and export to a PDF. Traced. Image trace, let's see, PDF, 
boom. And let's get that PDF opened up in uh, Adobe Reader. Here it is right here. Again, scalable to any size while maintaining that very high resolution because it is a vector graphic. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, feel free to uh, leave a comment in this video if you have uh, any questions about this functionality or if you'd like to see me cover any other uh, Figma related topics in future videos. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.